Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII, A New Threat. A vertical unleashed, that's nine. So at the end of the last episode, we have a new boss fighting Sephiroth, which turns out to be Denova Death, I think. Um, and it was a bit tough. So, obviously I've healed up my party. I'm just going to go at it again with a fully healed up party, because I went into it with, like, Cloud at 700 health and something super like that. So... Yeah, just going to see how we fare this time, and then we'll make adjustments to our party from there. I don't know, but there is a possibility that we might have to also um, uh, take out Aerith, although I doubt it, to be honest. Wait, was that treasure chest up at the top gone after... Oh, no, it's still there. I mean, given that he ambushes the party, it'd be kind of cool if you went into this fight as a back attack. I say kind of cool. It's only cool the first time. After that, you just make... Accommodations for it, but still. Uh, sense him. <laughs> oh, he has death on him now. Wonderful. Dude does not like cloud. 1300, 13,000 even waking and slowly, you know, we already knew that. I didn't see if she stole anything, or if he even had anything to steal, but I'm just gonna... Go ham. Yeah, he'll love the cloud before he dies. I don't know if it's just a cloud thing. The roar offense. Is that dealing damage or Okay. I just wanna never know which direction you have to press to target the correct character. Hey, actually, could you stop? Oh. Please don't kill Cloud yet. Oh. Use two cloud uh, cloud twos. I was about to <laughs> Pure twos, and then whatever this does. Thank <laughs> you. 
can you not cast that, please? No, not on her as well. Hey, I doubt that's going to be useful. Though. Thirty-six thousand we against Earth, we against Holy. Is that what you get for using Earth on her? That means there is something to steal. Could you stop that, please? everyone. There's got to be some sort of method to this. Please no. Try this spell to see what happens. Gas. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to try and do. I'm gonna keep on trying stealing because I think that's doing its job. damage to this thing. Try comment. See how that goes. 151 and that's a crit. Two six two seven. Right. That deals some decent damage. Got the uh Do I care about doing this? Probably. I don't know if she's dead as well. Right, so Comet is the way to deal with that. So, it looks like her defense is just really stupidly high then. Both magic and physical. Because we were struggling to deal any damage to her, but as soon as we ignored defense with Comet, did it, what, 2600? Base 30 ignores defense. Um, 70 MP. That sucks. Nope. Because we have to do the fight against Sefi. 
first, and then that. Uh, unless we just try to avoid using Aerith's magic abilities. Don't know what else we're supposed to do with that, though. <laughs> um, MP plus. Do I want to? Where are you, Comet? MP turbo. Extra MP spell power. How much extra MP, though? Weak to earth and holy. Oh, I don't know. Basically, Tifa's useless. All she does is kind of sits there. I'm probably going to regret it, but I'm going to try using MP Turbo on Comet. What gives me the least magic buff? I want poison. Actually, I'm not going to be using it because of the thingy, but I want to level it up as much as I can. Uh, yeah, Quake, despite it apparently being, you know useful. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> Comet. MP Turbo. And then... Where are you? Earth. Nice. That's all. Added cut, death bow, added steel, steel. Do I want to try and use added or elemental? Hmm. Get rid of that and. No, we need sense. Absolutely need sense. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Not a meaningful amount. Safety first. Why do I feel like that has like some sort of effect that I'm unaware of? Like prevents all ailments or something. Uh, I also uh, resistance earth poison. Anything that resists death. <laughs> You know what, given that I know but she's gonna be the main deal damage dealer against Sefi because I'm gonna be reserving Aerith's um, Poo. This is why you make your changes before you use a tent. Let's get back in the save point, a save for our changes. Let's just quickly see, is there anything else I can do to pump up Aerith's magic? Because we're not really going to use bio. So we can add Ramu into the mix.
So to switch out Ramu. Poison. I want poison to get as much AP as possible, but at this point, just need to do what we can. Right, let's try this again. Now, I don't doubt that the next question is, what am I going to have Aerith doing during the Sefi fight? Not much. What I might do is still use her and then have her use an ether on himself before we change phases. Annoying that you have to sit through this every time. Good old fashioned unskippable cutscenes. JRPGs of the 90s. Gotta love it. Something like, interesting I noticed in some of the preview gameplay stuff for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is that I think it's the bottom swell fight, which is the giant fish under Junon. You have like your main party of three, but then you can see like other characters on the fringe of the battle, like doing stuff as well. So I think you probably are guided in what your party will be. So it'll be like Cloud, Aerith, and I don't know. Yuffie's in the water, so I think Red 13. Excuse me. But um, you can see like Barrett standing on like a pier behind them, shooting a bottom swell. Whether or not it has any actual effect on the party, I couldn't tell. It's an interesting way to kind of incorporate what happens in the final fight of this game, because you have like your three parties and you switch between them. Maybe it'll be something kind of similar. Sense. Let's just see what this does. How much this does against him. Three K. That's fine. Might as well just use that. I'm actually going to look this time. Hail horse, that's water, isn't it? <laughs> bolt 2? You're not allowed to use Bolt 2. Oh, Aerith has been endethened. That's not cool. Gem ring. In case you can't tell, I'm waiting basically Aerith to die now. Might be able to miss. I did not. <laughs> she just went stand, standing up to sitting down. Sitting down? You know. Nope. Don't do anything with her. It doesn't. Oh, of course I got a miss. I bet she's not going to kill now. Nope. Perfect. There we are. No! If you switch, it doesn't let you uh, input a new thing. Right, let's just get the show on the road. use that a lot. Yep. 
nuclear pause. I do not like the sound of that. Oh, it's gonna kill Aerith. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Who's that counterattack that I assume? Oh no. She got silenced last time. Does it the game think that that's magic? Steel, that is. Yeah, it's some healing, I guess. Stop it, you douche. Two, so it has to shoot three. Maybe, no, it's only doing two that time. Why? No. St oh, she's still alive. Ooh. I should have. Well, I was. Should have used regen. Can still use regen, but it's just. No, I can't. God damn it. No, leave Aerith alone. I did three. I wonder... Is this game... Doing a... Uh, what is it? What engine is it? Whalevert? The... Huh. I was lucky. Um... The dungeon in Final Fantasy IX. I think it's no, it's not Whalevert. That's just you can't use magic. Um, nothing to steal. But basically, is it because our power is so high? It does less, like it works inverse. So do we have to use like base gear, something like that maybe? Oh no, you don't have anything to still do. That looks like we might need to dispel something. on commenting halfway there which is good please don't kill Tifa please don't kill Tifa please don't kill Tifa you kill Tifa ah huh which is ironic because she wait oh that sucks because that would have been a great way to get around the death um I yeah she does have um Protect and shield. But yeah, the fact that Tifa dies and comes back doesn't get rid of the death status effect, or doom status effect. It's poo. On Earth, I need you to do your thing. So we can try and get a thingy off. Oh. 
No. 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 Oh my god, he's nearly dead, but he's not. Uh, I was I th was thinking that animation was the phoenix down. That's annoying. Oh well. I mean, a few more of those, and we're probably good. over very quickly. Come on, please use your finger sound first. Please, 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 please. What a perfect counter. That sucks so hard. We were so close. you suck. Um, right, so I need to think about this. Want to try something. I very much doubt this is the thing, but we have to sit through this as well. It's probably just... I might need to look at some of my items to see what I can get characters to use. Like, I'll probably have to use an ether on um, Cloud as well at some point to be able to get some actually useful magic off. Because towards the end, he was just kind of... I mean, I literally did a standard attack, which did one damage. That could have been literally anything else, right? Um, so... Yeah. Might have to look at my arrangement of my items. Can't remember if we have any hero drinks. Anything like that. Because if we can get... Nova down to about 15, which in theory shouldn't take too long. If we're doing 3k damage and it has 36 health, I have to do it 12 times. <laughs> I wonder, will this be a fight where I use a mega exit? Hmm. Do to cloud. I was not paying attention, but that is gnarly. That was a decent amount of damage. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> no, leave cloud alone. I need him. Yeah, if I, um... Could you not do that for twice in a row?
because we need the cure to go first. Get the, it stops you from allowing to choose an option. Right, three versus 15. So obviously that's not the thing here, but interesting that he actually did more than a protective ring. Okay. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, interesting. Oh. Actually, uh, death blow yourself. <laughs> well, it's up to you now, Genova. Um, <laughs> no one kills me but me. Yeah, so it's literally just a case of having to use Comet. <laughs> so, oh, it's so annoying that we have to use Tifa, because if we had Red 13, he could then use his um, Lunatic High, or whatever it's called, to give haste and evasion up to everyone. That was with MP Turbo as well, yeah. Right, yeah, I don't want to get rid of that for whatever. Uh, it was Rami, wasn't it? Hmm. 2-1-5. Yeah, we're nowhere near getting Cloud's attack back. I don't think we would have wanted to. So, would putting her in the back row make a difference? Maybe. I'll do it anyway. Um, right. I wanted to look at my items. Turbo ether. Moron. No, I want to arrange. I gotta forget that that's a thing. Turbo ether. Probably not gonna use the lick, so. Yeah, I'm more of that. Um, huh. If it saves us a couple of, um, or some casts on Cloud, then I'm up for using those items. Dispel, escape battle. I don't think we have... <laughs> Toggles Frog. What a way to put it. Toggles me. Um... Yeah. So we don't, from the looks of it... Moonstone? Uh, um going to involve my Clefairy. So, Ghost Hand. Definitely not a Sahara Nut. 
Stardust. These are all the same. Hero drink. Do I really want to use it on this fight, though? We nearly did it without needing that. I'm going to put it up here anyway. <laughs> I knew I'd seen a hero drink somewhere. Okay. Um... Aerith being so weak is a problem, but we need her to be glassy, unfortunately. I'm also going to try and avoid using her limit, because characters with limit have their A to B increase faster. And that with haste hopefully will make a meaningful difference to how much deeps she does. 36 minutes into this video. I haven't even got past the first battle. Because you got to bear in mind as well, this game, or the mod, isn't necessarily this hard. I am also playing in hard mode as well, so if you're interested in playing it, and it looks like too much of a hassle for the battles, and it's worth, again, noting that I'm not really... I could probably be building my team better, doing some more grinding, stuff like that, but I'm only really... I, the only time I play it is... Well, obviously, the only time I play it is when you guys see it, but, like, I'm not doing any off-screen grinding or anything. Which I probably should do. Um... But, yeah, so the bosses where I'm getting a bit stonewalled aren't actually that hard. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Watching. You would have thought after we pulled that move in the ancient capital, Cloud and especially Aerith would have would have wised up to his moves. Bit of a one trick pony, aren't you, Sophie? Um, okie dokie. Go for the steal. Do not care. I do, actually, because I want to be able to heal up before we get to the actual fight. Dude's really going for it. No. Jesus, dude. Is, does it retarget now to actually hit thingy? Nice. Should have a cure two coming, yeah. And after this, regen.
Unfortunately, the haste when I eventually put it on Aerith will increase her. Oh, come on. That sucks. This won't kill. Rolls. Okay, good. As we're like, seriously, you're killing both my characters outright. Please stop. Who on? Perfect. I didn't even sense up. I've no idea what my. Oh! For some reason, I thought it was gonna come back around. Literally, so oh. Why? Ah. so annoying. <laughs> it's every time I use the light curtain, the game just doesn't want me to have cloud with protect. So now we need to... Bastard. Or at least he's regening something. Very nearly saying some very bad words. This is really annoying me. Oh, the fact that he can't regen on himself and it missed, and then it's. I think he can't refresh the. the cooldown. Either way, if it does. Uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is... We're done here, aren't we? <clears throat> right. Got it to... About 10k. Everyone's still around for now. Cloud's about to kick the bucket. In more ways than one. At least we get a cure all on... Well, really, it's only going to benefit Tifa now, ironically. Never 
Comet in the works. I tried using the Hero Potion. I don't understand it. I think it poisons your character, but increases... Increases? Increases the damage they deal. So... Yeah. Not soul on it, if I'm honest. Now, I wonder if... Three more, and we should be good. No. Don't kill Aerith. We haven't used grit yet. Oh, my God. Come on, Aerith. Oh, my God. We're going to be one shot. Don't kill Tifa, please. Damn it. <laughs> One more comment and we would have killed them. <laughs> right, okay. We've got Barrier up on everyone. Aerith has Regen, but she also has Doom. So this is going to be interesting. I'm basically just exclusively using Air Tifa as buffer. So I'm not actually doing anything with her, per se. Tifa's probably going to die here. Okay. That was good because Aerith's dying anyway. And now we've got Cloud doing Cure 2 on everyone. Well, everyone bar Aerith. And Aerith will be brought back. And we can hopefully regen in time for that. Come on. Doing it. I don't care. Three more. Huh, oh, nice. Got a miss. Come on, dude. Go away. Good for when Cloud inevitably dies. Two more, come on. Get this off quickly before he does. <laughs> one, one HP, nice. I hate it because this takes up so much time of our barrier. One more comet after this, unless somehow she just gets wiped. We should be good. I don't care if Cloud dies or not. Don't care. Don't care. Please. We should be good. Please, game. Please. Thank God. <laughs> oh, wow. 400 AP. Jesus Christ. I don't even have any time to soak up the story. I've been doing this for like an hour and a half. Just that one boss fight. No, I d was there a gimmick to that fight? Other than using comics, if I'm not mistaken, is this where we found Comet?
Yeah, this is something that wasn't really properly explained in the originals that you're never fake you're never chasing Sephiroth, you're chasing Genova. Because Genova can chain shapes, so Chain shapes? I can't think of the word. Metamorphose? You know it's important because it's text is a different colour. <laughs> Tifa, I hate you. Stay here. Uh, <laughs> shall we give the black materia to the materia thief? Please, can I give it to you? I don't want you to come with me. I always felt so bad when you give it to you. <laughs> I always felt so bad when you give it to 13, so you get so confused. And to, he's like a little lost puppy. I feel so bad for him. Nope, alright. Nice. Be nice to give some SP upgrades to, uh. Oh, summon. Is that. Bahamut? Neo Bahamut. Uh, be nice to give some SP upgrades to. Arif. I can't believe I used a mega, mega elixir. <laughs> Look at my items are decimated. Um, we needed it though. I mean, didn't need it. We could have been using magic, but it's nice for Tifa to be able to use barrier all on everyone, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it was worth it ultimately. Okay. Um, don't know if there will be another fight. Sincerely, have not. Save. Be perfect time for my laptop to die, wouldn't it? I think it would be making a swift trip out the window if that happened. Oh, yeah, SP upgrades. Let's go have a look at Mr. Happy or Smiler or whatever his name is. It does increase up to four. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> um. Yeah, GM answer. Giving her a bit more defense because clearly in that fight we struggled with how fragile she was. Um, now strength and magic, no. When we don't have... Oh, it's going to be our ex-soldier, I think. Mm. Yeah, I really want to be leaning into his strength as much as possible. 
giving her a little bit of magic's nice, but then the vitality and spirit buffs as well are really nice. Um, like, why isn't there a strength, vitality, and spirit build? Uh, this one has magic, but it's not plus 15. I'd much prefer it be that way. Um... No, it's going to have to be this one, I think, mercenary. Because at least the luck will contribute to the stealing as well, which normally he would be doing. And then finally, where are you, Kakshi? Yeah. Um, so, Materia Tank. Magic, Vitality, and Spirit here. Yeah. Isn't anything else that. Magic and Spirit. Ooh, Tabby Tank. I might do that one just because I think I did Materia Tank last time, but more in Vitality and Spirit I think is important. Less in the magic, but don't care about his magic stuff. Most of the magic I'm getting him to cast doesn't rely on the magic stat because it's stuff like barrier and things like that. Unless, of course, that does the magic stat affect how long you have that stuff for? I don't think it does. Either way, that is what I'm going for. You're right. I didn't use them. I forgot that that was a thing. Where are you? And I guess if I have counterattack on him, at least the power sources will have been useful for that. Nope, we're done. Right, let's go somewhere other than this screen, shall we? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Get me out of here. Ooh. What if it looks a vaccine or something? Escort guard. Alright. Is this something that can only be worn by a man, I feel like? Is this cut and pierced male capone? Ooh. Actual defense goes down, but magic defense is at least something. And it's. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So now we have some. Um, things. Yeah, the Eden Code didn't have double, so that's fine. Hang on. So what do I have on here now? Added effect slow. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, it's escort guard, isn't it? So, elemental time. So he's protected against that. Well, all right, then. Hello again, everyone. I had to uh, take an emergency break, and it's now a day. All right, one last shot at this. Hopefully the lightning won't strike me. Getting PTSD from Final Fantasy X's lightning dodging minigame. Go away. No. I thought the lightning was going to hit. <laughs> right, there we are. Truth shall be revealed.
this is yeah you've got to appreciate like the direction and like camera work like, when you watch or when you watch when you play through the um the flashback you don't appreciate the fact that sephiroth walks in first and talks and it's not until like obviously afterwards uh cloud slash zack is revealed but it only really works because of this previous, like this now revealing revelation, even. Yeah, <laughs> and Aerith has a reaction to Zing Zack. So I can start to see some more um, differences in the story because Aerith is here with us. No, he knows. He just doesn't realize it yet. But yeah. Obviously, Aerith knows who that is. She even mentioned him to us once before. See, this is one of the reasons... I have problems with Remake. It introduced Zack to us so much earlier. Like, we are just at Northern Crater. We've technically finished the journey, right? Even though we haven't, obviously, when we're in the game, but... We only find out about Zack, or we only see Zack, and understand his part in the story now. But with Remake, we see Zack basically the end of the game. We see the end of OG Final Fantasy 7 when we're in the Shinra building with the meteor and everything like that. And for me, that's one of my gripes with it is that if people want to play remake as a um, like a fresh experience Final Fantasy 7 or a new, look, not new, but like they've never played the original, then it isn't a true representation of the original. Which is a shame. This is the funny thing, is that the reason Sephiroth actually does believe that Cloud wasn't here. Because he didn't obviously see him ever take off his mask. Or his helmet, even. Hmm. And this is why it half makes sense that he amalgamates Zack's memories into his own. Because he was there for most of the same journey they took, and he does remember the experience of being here. Actually, so he must have known that Cloud was here from for a certain part of it because unless he thought Cloud was just an inhabitant and not necessarily a soldier. Yes, she does. She always has done. I'll be very intrigued to see how they handle this in Rebirth. I think the lady doth protest too much. Hmm. <laughs> 
given Sephiroth a bit more character in some ways. Make him a bit more playful almost. He did. Only half of that is true. Hmm. Interesting. Now, how could you steal the memories of another? Because there have been some theories floating around that there is technically time travel in the original. Um, and I think that... Uh, time travel in the original 5 and 7. Uh, and that is that the memories that enter the live stream are available to anyone at any time that can access the live stream. So I think that's part of the theory anyway. And that's why Cloud is able to access Zack's memories, even though Zack dies after Cloud is kind of, you know, reborn. But maybe Genova cells inside Cloud can access the live stream, even though he's not in his, I don't know, septic tank, whatever it's called. But it is interesting because obviously Genova does metamorphose and transform into Sephiroth most of the time. And Cloud has been infused with Genova cells. And when Sephiroth dies, uh, sorry, when Zack dies, he becomes Zack. Kind of like Genova. I've always enjoyed that kind of duality. Well, not duality, that kind of mirroring. I always thought this was a little bit silly. It's like, this acts as proof of the memory. But, like, if everything here is an illusion, that means the photo can be an illusion as well. It doesn't act as proof. Yeah. Just sweep that under the proverbial carpet. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about the near mental breakdown I just had. It'll be fine. Hmm. 
And there's Weapon just chilling in the uh, ice. I believe it's in Crisis Core. In the final dungeon. You can actually see the weapons as well. It's just not a little bit, it's an entire temple. What a giant kaiju awakening in the walls of the very place you're standing in. Yeah, I'm surprised you're still there. I guess you could call this a, a groundbreaking discovery. <laughs> I saw the, like the angle here. It was really weird because Cloud's like his model's like really like thin. <laughs> the way he's just walking is really weird. Thank you. 
Yeah, maybe your basis for analysis wasn't quite right, mate. Miserable failures, anyone that's here, mate. All your other quote unquote successes. They're chilling in some houses in Nibbleheim. It's nice that they're kind of explaining the story in a bit more cohesive way. Like, why Genova left? Because you would think, like, if they're all converging on where Genova is, it would be where Genova is. But firstly, Sephiroth has Genova's head. And secondly, obviously, Sephi is controlling Genova. When you consider it, that's actually very impressive because the only reason soldiers are so strong is because they're infused with the power of Mako and Genova cells. So to be able to actually just overcome that and your by sheer will alone be able to take control over that is incredible. This search for Sephiroth, you just have to continue with. All part of the reunion. Oh, yeah. No. Turns out Cloud could just fly around a little long. Who needs the high wind? They got the power of Sephiroth. Always annoyed me that it didn't look like the temple. It just became a sphere like every other material, right? But actually, it should look like a little pagoda. Little pagoda? Yeah, I think so.
gun down one go. Omega, I believe. <laughs> Jiggle physics. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I wonder if they'll re recreate that scene in the original. In the remake, sorry. I wonder if there's ever meant to be more story behind Ruby and Emerald. It's obviously they're optional bosses. Just there, uh, just to completionist things. Oh, I hate that sound. <laughs> so creepy, man. Poor little cloud. Afraid that what? All of this could have been helped. Hmm. He has been atrophying for like five years. I must say atrophying. He's been like in a septic tank thing. Like I... I don't know how long the journey from Nibelheim to here is supposed to have taken with Zack. I find it hard to believe that Cloud and Zack were held captive for that long. But, you know, five years to travel that distance, I think it's a bit ridiculous as well. Hmm. It's a shame because obviously we're not going to get to see all this stuff in Rebirth. Because Rebirth supposedly will end at the uh, capital.
Anything? <laughs> ah, more creepy music. Excellent. Ah, uh, yeah. The true third act to the story. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I mean, we know what actually happened to him, but I wouldn't assume that he was going to be okay. Seven, because it's Final Fantasy Seven. Oh my god! Final Fantasy Seven remake confirmed. <laughs> Big ass dudes. That is now officially what uh, we're referring to the weapon as. scared the crap out of me, Meteor. I legitimately had nightmares um, about like the moon exploding, falling to Earth, stuff like that, after playing this game. Space scared me for a long time after this game. I just need to save! I'm just going to assume they took, like, Barrett's bandoliers or wet bullets or whatever. Oh god, we have to use Tifa now, don't we? I believe Kachi is... Is it Kachi and Yuffie? Are in the uniforms? Oh yeah, I'm playing as Barrett, aren't I? Oh no, we don't play as... If we play as Barrett, that's a bit better, I think. Thank you. Right, as you can probably imagine, this has been quite a long episode, so I am going to call it there. <laughs> and in the next episode, we escape from Junon, and we will, I think, go and try and find Cloud, and also decide on our team. Uh, so, I will probably make it Barrett and Sid 
and Katshi. No. No, it'll be Katshi, Aerith, and then Barret, and then Sid when we have to be Sid for a short while. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next video.